Hello everyone and welcome to Meditations on the Porch. I call this poem, What If? And before I get started, I'll just tell you at this point for me, myself, um, I have completely lost faith in our government, our FBI, uh, some of our police agencies, um, just pretty much anything that comes out of the mouth of this administration and their crew and their comrades and their, uh, their gang, whatever you want to call it. It's um, absolutely um, heartbreaking to me because um, it just, I, I just don't believe anything that, uh, that they're saying. And uh, hopefully, you know, the only thing we can all do is believe in the, um, the one and only. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll let the poem speak for itself. Once again, it's called, What If? What if there was no disease, sickness, or cancer? Would Big Pharma really like that answer? Would it benefit the government for all, for all of us to be healthy? What would happen to all the wealthy? No more doctors, hospitals, and nurses. The pharmaceutical companies could no longer fill their purses. What if there were no criminals, violence, or crime? Do you think the government would make a single dime? What if all of us got along, perfect in every way, doing nothing wrong? What would happen to law enforcement, military, and jails? No courts, judges, or getting out on bail? What if we didn't need any gasoline, electricity, or power? The government would fall apart within the hour. What if we all went back to horses and carriages? No gas stations, cars, mechanics, or repair shops. If you get my point, I promise I'll stop. All these necessities are used against us every day. If we don't comply and do as they say, they can either raise prices or take something away. We are quick to comply as soon as they try because we want our PCs, televisions, and phones to stay. What used to be luxury is now a necessity. We can no longer live without it, and there is no doubt about it. They know this, so we continue to pay. An elaborate plan? Is that what you want me to say? You tell me how you feel when your internet is on the blink. It's as if they've taken away your ability to think. Instead of taking the opportunity to go outside, maybe walk, look around, or go for a ride, instead, we dread the rest of the day. We think we are free, but many are unhappy. It is reflected in the violence throughout our society. So sad that they profit from our misery. This makes our government very happy. Just another way for them to control us and make money. The nine most terrifying words in the English language are, by far, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. The mere thought of that should make all of us yelp. Government control will destroy America. We must resist. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing us he didn't exist. Thank you.